There is a story on the Hudson that can be traced back more than a thousand years. It is the history of rowing and the people who row. First Native Americans, then sailors and fishermen. He built this near replica of the American star and as you could see on the side, it was uh, named General Lafayette. It's called the uh, Whitehall Gig Boats. Those were the boats that saved George Washington's army when he lost the Battle of uh, Long Island. Later, professional oarsmen. When I was trying to get an access to the riverfront, I said, I don't know if Newburgh had any kind of history. And I'm looking through an old Courier and Ives book, and I saw a Courier and Ives painting. Championship Rowing Race of the World, 1867, for $5,000. The Ward Brothers Rowing Saga begins with Josh Ward. Rowing as a single sculler, won many singles titles, including world titles. After he ended his career as a single sculler, Josh formed a four-oared crew team with his brothers Gil, Hank, and Charles. It would run about so 10 or 12 seconds. Many, many, many spectators on the shore and the very famous train that moved along with the, the races. We were about probably average 140, 145 pounds, and we were all over six foot, six foot two, six foot three. I mean, just tall and skinny. But when it came to being oarsmen, it was just an incredible stroke because we were just so long. And that was the year we, we beat everybody. We beat our own varsity, we beat everybody. And I'm sure if you've spoken to all of his rowers, the ones that found success with him would say the same thing. You know, God, I, I never wanted to disappoint him. We didn't want to lose because we don't want to let him down. 2K is going to be at full pressure off the fly for the full distance. Oh, we now reach. Hit the leg. in a good way. That if you set a goal and you work for it, then that's that should be the joy in itself. Head coach told the lone remaining senior on the team that there wasn't going to be a girls crew that spring because he couldn't find a coach. One letter mentioned in Title IX in the college newspaper and the season was back on. <laughs> And all along, the development of equipment and technique. Well, we slide down. There was the mention of Poughkeepsie is where the sliding seat was invented. Now, I don't know whether it was invented here, but Henley says it was invented here, so that's good enough for me. Well, we but one of the most powerful stories belongs to J.C. Babcock, who is a member of the Nassau Boat Club in New York and one of the first recorded wins by a sliding seat boat was by a six-oar shell that he'd outfitted with uh, slides. Whether or not his story is the accurate one, there's no question that his club, the Nassau Boat Club, had one of the most beautiful glasses to drink out of in their bar after the race. And there are people who row with recreation in mind. Perhaps people like you.